Hail the hero after pulling off this extraordinary rooftop rescue of a, of a fellow construction worker who only had his coat to shield him from roaring flames that were inching ever closer. You can hear the loud alarms ringing through Reading city centre last Thursday morning. But 65-year-old crane driver Glenn Edwards sprang into action in the nick of time and manoeuvred that cage into the middle of the fire despite the thick smoke and the fierce winds. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and that's the sound of relief amongst all the worried onlookers, fearing the worst until Glenn stepped in. Now, everyone wants to talk to Glenn, <laughs> and this is the first time it is. we yes. can meet you. Thank it's you. the first time you're going to tell the story of what happened there. Best. And <laughs> shake your hand if you don't. Yeah, Thank you very much. Exactly Thank you. right. Thank the you. Bruce Willis of, of Reading yeah. last Thursday. Yeah. Glenn, what happened? Um, it, the, well, the story, uh, the story goes that I was actually concreting at the time. I had a concrete skip on. Um, so I was in that area and then uh, one of my banksmen on the ground said there's a fire and the fire alarm was going off. Could hear the fire alarm going off. Mm. Um, you were in the crane or I was I was in the crane operating yeah, yeah I, I was so, so where was the cab in relation to the building and the fire uh, if, if you look it was it was it's hard to explain we've got a graphic look, I think there we yeah, there, there, we there you go so it's in in line with got in, it yeah right. in line with that um, so I had to get the concrete skip off yep um, I was hoisting up and said uh, and then someone shouted out there's someone on level eight which is that level where the guy was yeah mm -hmm. um, and I, I stopped hoisting up. I was about 20 metres up in the air. And as I slewed round, I could see the guy out my left window. Um, he was waving his coat, waving his coat. You can see there, the wind was absolutely terrible, terrible. Um, so you realised that he was completely confined to yeah, that corner yeah, and I, was about to basically be burned alive. Uh, he had about two square metres to stand on there, yeah. 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 Um, and the, the wind was swirling around there. I had the job to get the cage there. I knew what the radius was because obviously I'd put um, materials up there before. Uh -huh. So I knew what the radius was. So I, I, I decided that I was going to come down on, on top of that radius. Um, as I was coming down, the crane, the cradle was swinging backwards and forwards. So um, it's catching the wind. But when it comes off of the fence, there's a guy there. When it comes off the fence, it kicks off the fence and he, gra he just managed to grab hold of it. Jeez. This is where it just caught the fence. You can see the wind blowing. And uh, you could, that's called a cradle. Cra it, cradle, yeah. Because we've been calling it a cage. Oh, right. It's like yeah, a safety we, cage. It, it, we, uh, it's there specifically for that reason. It's a it's rescue not, cradle. It's a res rescue cradle. Um, it, it's there for that. Um, so, so you purpose. you know you can see the fire. Yeah, you, I couldn't you, see a thing. But you find out there's a there's a chap yeah, up there. Yeah. You've already got the skip on your yeah, crane, so yeah. you have to put that down. Uh, yeah. Take my chains off because what I was gonna I, what I was gonna do I was I was, I was gonna jib, uh, hoist up and get out of there. Mm -hmm. And then when I was slewing around, I see the guy waving his coat on that level, and I stopped what I was doing. Went and got the cage. Um, Mick the banksman, uh, Mick Stevens, big, you know, big hands up to him. He, he see it, and uh, Kevin, the other banksman that was on the ground. I'm not yeah. quite sure of his surname. Uh, big heads up to it. Both of those, you know, they they done brilliant. So they got, then attach the, got the cradle cage on. instead of the yeah, skip. Yeah, yeah, they they got that on, um, and then I just hoisted up and I tried to I I slewed round. I hoisted it right up. I slewed round. I decided I, that I was going to come down on down on him instead of mm -hmm. sl slewing round yeah. in, into him because yeah. so, right. I, I, I couldn't catch this. I'll, it's, there's an actor catching the swing and everything and uh, I wouldn't be able to was, see the cage. What was going through your mind? I mean, you're talking about it very calmly now. Yeah. The f actually having to do it, was doing it something which kept you calm? Were you just doing it very logically, step, yes, step by yeah, step? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You, you weren't in, in any way panicking? Or... Oh, my adrenaline was... Oh, I had to was open this roof light. Yeah. And my adrenaline was gone out of the roof light. It was, it was, but um, I obviously try to stay calm. On the, on the top of the jib, there's a camera, uh, and you can zoom in and out. Uh, oh. So you can, I could see the level in, but I couldn't see him. I because, of, because of the smoke? Smoke and the flames. Um, <gasps> Every now and again, I got a glimpse of him, and then the smoke come back. 
So I tried to land the cage between him and the fire, mm -hmm. which I did yeah. eventually. <laughs> Glenn, the remarkable thing is, for any layperson watching, is you could have hit him with the cradle. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, could have landed yeah. the cradle yeah. in the flames. Yes, yeah. yeah. You, you could have not seen what yeah. you were doing and the cradle could have not landed on the platform I, I had, at all. I had some, some instructions from uh, Michael, the banksman, on, on the ground. Uh, what, are you shouting out to you, was he? No, we're on the radio oh, communication. Okay. We got radio communication. Right. So I had uh, some, but I had so much noise up there with the alarms going off, and yeah, it was it was quite buzzy. Could you see when the worker got into the cradle? Or can you feel it? I, you know, I can feel it. When I when I landed that, as it just touched down before he got in it, I could just feel it on the crane. You can feel the weight. You can see that on the weight lomometer uh, oh. on my scales. So that, that the told weight you that he had was gone in. Off, had gone off, and and then. Uh, when I landed it, the wind got hold of the block and it started to push the cage over again. Yes. But lucky it came back. So when, when you lifted it there, as we're seeing there, were you 100% sure that he was on board? Definitely, 100%. Because of, because of the, the feel? Definitely, 100%. You've been, you've been working on cranes for 30 years. I, 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 had it, I had it on the radio as well. He's in, he's in. I could hear the crowd out there, you know, God. the windows open. But how much could you see at that point? I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see him. Not, it was, I was looking down on him through the camera and I could see the smoke going up that way. Oh. I, I, I was 100% blind. So where did you land him? On the, on the ground, safely in the big area on the, on the tarmac there. Just describe yeah. how, what your hands yes. were doing at this point. <laughs> well, I had a job to stand up, put it that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I was like that. Yeah, I was, I was really shaking, yeah. Like, long... I, just, I just went like that, yeah. How long did it take you to realise oh, well, what oh, well, done. I was all, I was all right when I when I got down and everything, and I needed a quiet minute, like you know, to and, get myself together. And, and when did the the penny fully drop that you had just saved a man's life without, um, well, without question? Yeah, it, it, um, when everyone was about, really, I think. Yeah, when everyone come up to me and you know said, "Well done, well done," that's you know that's when it, the penny dropped. When you watched those pictures back. Yeah, I never watched it for a couple of days. No. <laughs> You didn't yeah. watch for a couple of days. No, that's Why not? Right. That, um, oh, I, I saw a few bits and pieces in the evening, mm. and that, and then I didn't realise it was going to, you know, be quite be yeah, the yeah. big. So, but um, how did you yeah. feel when you when you did watch the whole thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a, I got a bit emotional. I like. bet you did. Yeah, yeah, it's a, something else, isn't it? You know, so, yeah. Now you haven't met the guy, have you? No, I haven't. Not yet. I, it, I'm not sure whether he's, um, well, I, I, obviously he's uh, a bit traumatised, I should think, oh, so yeah. whether he's coming back on site. I know um, Macau Pines, that they're trying to get us in together and have a meet-up and everything, yeah. It's so absolutely they, They're going to, yeah, remarkable. try to get everyone together. Get what, would, what would you like to say to him? Well, well, so he's got to take me across the road for a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that, because a GoFundMe page has been set up to buy you a drink. I believe so. Um, so and there it is. Uh, there's a few drinks you could buy for the amount that's already been raised. Oh, uh, it's yeah. over 350 quid, 370 okay. quid That'll so far. Yeah. Um, and as you say, I mean, I don't know what a banksman is, but... The, OK, he's, the... a, he's a sli singer Sligner on the phone. He, he, on, the, on the ground, he does all my strapping up and everything. Right, mm. yeah. so he does the strapping up and the signalling. Yeah. And so Mick... And Kev. Yeah, Kev. They, Kevin. They, it sounds like you'd like to buy them a drink. Oh, as well. they get a drink. Yeah. There's a lot of there's yeah, a big yeah, round yeah. going on, isn't it, there? It's, you know, it's, I know I'd done it and I got the uh, I got the guy out, but it just wasn't all about me. You know, there's there's you know the two guys on the ground. Uh, I think Kev or one of the guys spotted him as well, yeah. and and when I slewed round and I was blocking up, ready to get out the train. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, I see him waving his coat. So, yeah. you know, and then the I thing is, mate, we live in this this horrible world of health and safety. Yeah, yeah um, where yeah. everything's regulated yeah. and restricted. Well, to a the necessary extreme. world of health and well, safety. Yeah, no, but what I mean is, what I mean is, there's not much room for initiative. That's what I was uh, going to say. And there's you on the spot mm. making it up, basically yeah. as you go along. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you're not you're not going to, from some you know guidebook or textbook or something. No, no, this is what experience. you do in a situation yeah. like yeah. this. You were, were making it up. Yeah. You were showing total initiative yeah, yeah. in the moment. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And that's unusual today. Yeah, yeah, Extraordinary. Thank you. Yeah, Congra thank you. Many congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 30 yeah. years.
Has anything like this happened before? Never, never, <laughs> never at all. Surprised never. if it had. <laughs> never. I've, 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 I have um, caged, cradled a, a couple of guys off that's, you know, uh, damaged their legs and things like that, you know, and got them down so they can get in an ambulance. But, yeah, nothing, nothing quite so dramatic no. as this. And who would you like you, to play you in the film? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll do it <laughs> brilliantly. Um, Glenn Edwards, yeah, yeah. congratulations. Well Thank done. You very and much. as you say, to Mick and Kev and yeah. the others involved. Yeah. Because, like every hero, yeah. you put it down to a team effort. A big shout out to the Reading Fire Brigade as well, because, you know, they were there, they were risking their lives. If you, there, there is a shot of them spraying water into yes. the, you know, and also Mikhail Pines for getting everyone out, out of, yeah. of the so safely. Cool. Absolutely yeah. right. And when you're reunited with that construction worker, we'll be there. Good. Buy Lovely. you both a drink. <laughs> Thank Lovely. you. Thank Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.